In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a basic tutorial for the Laser OS applications Games, Clock, Text, and Cast. So, starting with Games, this is the application that has a bunch of remakes of popular uh, arcade games, stuff like Pong, Space Invaders, Pac Man, Frogger, a lot of really cool preloaded games. Um, on the left hand side at the top, we start with the laser on off button, the little display that shows what's going to be playing. Uh, you got the all the settings that are used for all the other different applications. You can control power, color and hue, rotation. You can also add effects to the game, but a lot of this stuff you're not going to use on the game because it may make playing the game more difficult. Typically you would want to play the game on the base settings, but you can add this stuff if you do desire. On the right hand side for each game, you're going to see a start button, a reset button, uh, some basic control information, what keys you're going to use to play the game. And there might be other various settings depending on the game you play, but this is the screen right here where you're going to see all the game information. And some of the games will have sound and there'll be a little button on the main control screen before you start the game to enable or disable sound. And I'm just showing you guys some clips here of some of the games that I enjoy playing. There's Pong, there's Frogger, there's Pac-Man, there's Space Invaders, a whole lot of really fun stuff in there. They're going by different names because they're kind of like remakes of these popular arcade games, but a lot of really fun preloaded games to play. So the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys is Clock. So under the Clock application there's actually three different features. There's Time, there's Weather, and there's Chronograph. And Chronograph is kind of like a stopwatch. So starting with the Time feature you can then go down to Mode and you can select how you want your clock to be displayed on the wall. And they have a bunch of different templates. You can do Digital, you can go analog, radial, um, sector, 3D, Chinese. They have a bunch of different clock templates to change up how you want the time to be displayed. And then below that, they have all the basic options that are offered in all the applications. You got your effects, your color, hue, power, uh, rotation. And you can also set it to 24 hour clock and non 24 hour clock. So moving on to the weather feature, there are four modes in this one, and those are humidity, solar, weather, and wind and on the right hand side you'll have a location search bar where you can type in a location and you can also select whether or not you want to use metric or non-metric format and this does depend on you having a valid internet connection in order for the application to check the weather for you and this is basically just going to give you various weather outputs based on the location you give it and for the last feature in the clock application chronograph this one is a very simple and straightforward stopwatch. You can set it to be a countdown or a timer, digital or non-digital, and then you just enter in the amount of time in seconds, and you start it, and then you can pause it and hit resume or reset it. And if you do a countdown when it reaches zero, it'll give you a little beep. And that's pretty much all there is to this feature. So the next application is text, and this application has five different features. There's a basic text feature, news, search, social and RSS. So starting with the text feature, this one's pretty straightforward. On the left hand side we have all of our options. We can add an effect to it. We can change up the font. We can add a style to it like 3D, striped, rainbow. And then we can change up the speed of how fast it scrolls by and the size of the text. And then your basic options of power, hue, color, and rotation. And then on the right hand side you just type in what text you want to appear and you click the add button. And you can add multiple texts, so I can type in one thing and I can click the add button. And then I can type in another thing and click that and it'll it'll scroll them both by. And if I add multiple text, it'll also give me a little list below the enter text area where I can X out any ones that I want to get rid of. The next feature is news, and I have all of the same text options on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have a bunch of different news outlets that come with the software here. And I can select any one of these and it will give me some of the latest stories from that news outlet and it will project them. And obviously this one and some of the next features I'm going to show you guys like the social and search features, these will require an internet connection in order to give you guys this information. The next feature in the text application is search and there's three different websites you can choose from. You can do a Google Plus search, a Twitter search, or a Reddit search. And then you just type in some keywords and you click OK and it will then search for those words or that word and it will display either the most relevant or latest results on the screen for you. The next feature is social and this one has five different options. You can do your Facebook feed, your Twitter feed, your YouTube subscriber count, your YouTube view count, or your Gmail emails. 
and for each one of these you're going to be prompted to log in with that social media information and then authorize the laser OS software to view your profile and then what this will do is if you say select Facebook it will show some of the most recent posts from your Facebook if you select the YouTube subscriber one it'll give you your current YouTube subscriber count displayed and each one of these will just display information that's relevant to whatever social media that you selected and I do anticipate in the future they will be adding more social media to this list and the fifth and last feature in the text application is a simple RSS search you just have a little search bar where you type in a term or an RSS address you hit search and it will return some results and it will allow you to project them through the laser dock so moving on to the last application in this tutorial the cast application what this one does is it lets you project whatever is on your computer screen or your laptop screen and it will convert it into a laser output and the laser dock will try to generate whatever is on your screen so this works best with some lower definition things like cartoons it's not going to work well with some HD things like actual video of people but it's going to work good with animated videos so on the right hand side you'll see it shows you what your display is on your screen and then below that you have some options you can select desktop casting on and off cast full screen on or off and then you can set your alignment so if you don't want it to be the full screen you can edit your alignment so that it's zoomed into one particular area so I'm going to give you guys a full screen example here using a little animated stick figure video and this video does a good job because it has a lot of white space it doesn't have a lot of background or moving parts but if you had a video that had a lot of background and moving parts and was more HD the laser dock might have a little more trouble with it because unfortunately it can only do so much but with this example it does a pretty good job at turning the animated video into a laser output so you'll see in real time here it's converting the video and it looks it looks really cool on the output and this is going to do it with anything you play on your desktop screen here. The laser dock is going to do the best it can in the cast application to make your desktop output into a laser output. And that pretty much sums up the tutorial for the laser OS applications, games, clock, text, and cast.